Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we pour a concrete floor in a basement where the house is all built. And there's only one way to get in there, one access point. So as you can see, the concrete truck's backing up the driveway right now. And if you can see behind it, there's a pump truck coming. Usually we like to get the pump truck there half an hour before the concrete truck, but in this case it just didn't happen. That, gets, that gives us time to get the pump truck in place and get it all set up. And if we have to hook any hose to it, we can get the hose all hooked up before concrete gets there. But this time it didn't, so we'll just have to make do. It takes him a few minutes to get that thing unfolded. And, you know, we got to lug the, lug the line downstairs, get it all hooked up. And see, that's the only access right there. This house is 70 by 28 going to take three trucks, about 29 yards. we got six pieces of hose inside the house all hooked up. Now we're just hooking up that last piece. Now we'll be ready to pump. So that's the first truck mixing up. We've got a 3500 PSI mix with fiber mesh in it. Gonna pour around a six inch slump. That's a pretty good pumpable mix. It's good to work with. You can see the basement. There's no vapor barrier in this basement. The uh, the builder and the homeowner they didn't want a vapor barrier, so so we didn't put one down. But it's got a lot of crushed rock in there. They shouldn't have any any water problems in this basement. Anymore. The guy that did the foundation, he's there pulling the pipe around and he brought his helper with him. So he's helping us. It takes two guys just to pull that pipe around. This is a four inch line and when that's full of concrete, it's really heavy. So that was a big, big help for us having a couple extra guys. That's the first truck done right there. There's, there's about nine and a half, ten yards right there. We're getting that straight edged. You can see how we kick screed. We do use Viber screeds too, but we like kick screen mostly when there's lolly columns like this. Hey, if you guys don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. We specialize in concrete floors, concrete slabs, stamp concrete, staining concrete, uh, pool decks, patios, all kinds of concrete flat work. Uh, we also do a lot of epoxy floors, and that's what this YouTube channel is about, all that kind of stuff. Me showing you and teaching you how to do that stuff. So. If that's the kind of stuff you like or you like to learn about, go ahead down there and hit subscribe right now. Hit the little bell notification. I come out with two to three videos a week about this kind of stuff, so that'll keep you updated whenever a new video comes out. All right, we're on to the second truck now. Pouring all that out. We got that first truck all straight edged, bull floated. Now we're working on the second truck. It's a little bit of a slower process than just pouring right over the wall with no deck on the house. Just gotta go one bay at a time. You see we got a hook there, what we call a pump hook, to drag that hose around. And then we have a special chain with a handle on it that wraps around the end of the hose for the guy to hold it up with. and we snake it backwards until we get to where we can break a piece off. Those pieces of hose are 10 feet long. And we're getting down towards the end of that second truck. You can see that duct tape on the bottom of those lolly columns. We use those as, as our grade to go by. We, we use the laser to set grade initially, so we snapped a chalk line around the outside of the wall, and then we marked all those lolly columns with a pencil and then we wrapped that duct tape so the bottom of the tape is even with the top of the concrete floor. Just gives us something to go by while we're pouring it. Yeah, we're onto that third truck now. We're getting down towards the end. Again, this was 70 by 28. Take, took about 29 yards for this thing. It averages around four to four and a half inches thick. It's got fiber mesh in it. 
don't know if you can see way back there where we started, but we had to hang a power trowel from the rafters, from the floor joists, because that's there's no other way in other than that door. And if that first truck drives before the, the third truck, we wouldn't have a way to get a power trowel back in there. I'm magging the edge here with my Marshall Town hint my Marshall Tron mag float. I got all these tools down in the description, guys. If you guys are looking for any of these tools, um, Marshalltown makes great tools. And I got a link for them in, in the description. If you use the coupon code EAC, when you go to Marshalltown's site and check out, use EAC as the coupon code, they're going to give you 10% off plus free shipping on any tools. I worked a special discount for you guys through them. And that's exclusive just through this site, everythingaboutconcrete.com. Now you can see I'm bull floating this. You can see how nice that bull float pushes those rocks down and brings up the paste. Makes it real easy to power trowel. We definitely like pouring these without the house on them a lot better than pumping them after the fact. But this foundation was done in the fall and then they built the house through the winter and this is springtime now so they, they got to get the floor done to keep, keep going on the house. Guys I've got all kinds of videos about kick screeding and power troweling concrete so if you're if you're looking to learn that stuff or enhance your skills your finishing skills then you know, check out some of the, I'll have a couple of them right at the end of the video here, so you can click on some and, and keep uh, learning about how to do finishing. I'm bull floating the end of this thing right now. Again, guys, when you pick that bull float up, always mag out, always mag out that last bull float line. Just get it, get it nice and smooth when you finish out. That way, when you go to finish it, when it hardens up and you go to finish it, you won't have to work too hard getting those lines out after. Well that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.